Minnesota to Maureen. Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. Excuse my allergies this morning, they are so bad for some reason, but I'm just enjoying my morning breakfast. I got myself a bagel with turkey and cheese, and then I also made myself a lotus. I'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna head to the shop, and you guys know we're starting to do mods here and there to my STI, AKA Gary, and then yeah, I think today we're gonna be putting some carbon fiber parts on her, so. Let's get going. Guys, we are putting, I had to put my hair up because my hair has been, it's like the third day of not washing it. And so it's just like dry shampoo. And you know, those last days when they just, it just feels really flat and stuff. So today my hair is gonna be in a ponytail, but I am so excited to put carbon fiber parts on my car. Um, Devin and I definitely ordered like a lot for my car and finally stuff is showing up The first thing that showed up for my car was a carbon fiber grill Which also guys I have to tell you like I'm a little bit nervous to put on these carbon fiber parts just because it's winter time obviously we get a ton of snow here in the Northwest if you guys haven't um, kept up with my other videos. I have a lip a carbon fiber lip skirts so far that I haven't put on just because I feel like that's something that could easily get destroyed in the winter. I do have a grill and I want to show you guys this. I showed you guys it in my last video. It honestly reminds me of the, the one I used to have in my Genesis. So we're going to put that on today. And then we have one more carbon fiber part showing up and Devin didn't tell me what it is. So I'm literally sitting at home until that shows up today. When it gets here, guys, we're going to head to the shop and you know, spruce up Gary a little bit. Okay, I'm really not trying to be creepy, but I think I heard him. Yes. I think during Vlogmas, I told you guys that Devin and I, one day during the week, usually it's on the weekend, we sleep on the couch. So that's why my whole living room is a complete disaster because this was our bed last night. Every weekend, that's our bed. Okay, but well let's grab the part really quick. And Devin and I ordered, I feel like, so many parts for the Subaru that I don't even know what this is. So I'm gonna open this up in here. I can't wait until we get to the shop. I gotta do it here. I'm kind of assuming this is a vortex generator, which is like the spiky part up on the roof, which I, if you guys know me, that's all I wanted for Rose when I had the Evo, but I really want one for the Subaru. So just gotta be extra careful. I feel like this thing is so fragile. That thing is beautiful. What's this? Oh, it's some 3M tape. Okay. Wow, you guys, this thing is so pretty. Honestly, it's so fragile though. So it is a vortex generator. And I'll show you guys. Just gotta be really careful with it, I feel like. Okay. Look at how, okay, I'm gonna look in the camera. Look at how pretty this is. I am definitely so excited to put this on. I am actually going to get changed and we're gonna put these amazing parts on my car. Okay, you guys, we pulled Gary into the shop. We're here at Devon's shop. We just washed her off a little bit because she was super dirty. This is the stock JDM front grill that I have right now. So we're gonna be replacing this with the carbon fiber grill I showed you guys. And then the other piece that I showed you guys, the new one that I just opened goes right here. So, babe, are you ready? Can you tell I'm a little busy at the moment? <laughs> Devin's been at this for like an hour, I swear. Gotta make a mint. Perfect. No exceptions. Guys, so Devin just got done. Dried off the roof, we're gonna put this on. 
And this also came with some double-sided tape. This is 3M. Quick correction, this is knockoff. This isn't 3M, I don't even know if we're gonna use it. For real? Let me see how sticky it's she is. It's way stickier than... It doesn't even stick to my beard. Is shit. That, is that the tester? Straight shit. Okay. No, we could use this. Okay. It's not. There's not a hot, lot of pressure on that boy. This is so pretty, I'm so excited. This is literally, I was telling Devin, this is my favorite mod to do on like Evos or STIs. It looks so good, it's just a simple like mod. Devin's gonna take some IPA and just clean off the top of the roof so the tape can stick really, really well. Let's do a quick test fit. Okay, Devin and I just got done laying down all the tape and apparently this isn't 3M, it's like an off brand, brand so Devin decided to put extra tape on it so it will never be flying off. That looks so good, babe. I'm honestly so excited about that. Wow. Yeah, that is, as my dad would say, bitchin'. All right, guys, final look. And it's just so sleek and so beautiful. I like how thin it is, honestly, because it doesn't, as Devin said, protrude off of the roof at all. But yeah, that's beautiful. So the next thing that we're gonna do is the grill and we're gonna take off the bumper. Um, I believe there's a skid plate on it, which has a ton of little clips. So Devin's gonna do that one. Okay, we just popped the bumper off and so this is what's coming out. So how to get that off is just by unscrewing all these and there's probably some clips and I'm just screws. Yeah, just screws. All right, a quick look. The old one, which honestly looks really good just because it's all black. And I have this overlay on it, which makes it, you know, match the STI. But this is the new one, which even looks better. Looks amazing. The grill didn't fit at all. So Devin had to do some adjustments himself. Baby. Some? A lot. I cut this whole damn thing apart. It's a pile of shit. Can we see where you cut? There, there, right there, right there, right there, and right there so far. Yeah, so he cut a lot off, so hopefully it fits a little bit better. So I need to do one more cutting fish. Probably like 10 more. So Devin went back and forth probably like 10 times what he said and this grill does not fit at all. I feel like Devin and I have come across a lot of aftermarket parts that don't fit very good and this one was like probably the worst I've ever seen. Honestly, with him modding it out and like cutting it, it still doesn't sit back. Like it just pops out at the top. It looks really good if it fit right. So sadly, we're not gonna be able to use this. I'm assuming we're just gonna t put the stock one back on and call her a day, but that's okay. Maybe we'll find a better one along the way. But until we find one that actually fits and looks good, then we'll be switching it out again. But for now, it's just gonna stay like that. We just got done with everything on my car. We got the bumper back on as I showed you guys. Yeah, I'm kind of sad that we didn't get the grill to fit and we couldn't use it because I've been looking forward to using or having that grill for a really long time. 
but obviously there's other grills and probably better um, companies that make them that actually fit the right way because we modded it because we like cut it there's no way we can return it which sucks but that's okay i just pulled up to my gym and i'm going to be getting a shoulder workout today and i'm not recording this one tonight just because to be completely honest they have been turning off the lights in the gym at night and i cannot find the light switches anywhere and it's super hard for me to record in low light with this new lens so um either i need to find the switches which I'll look for, or I need Devin's help to like figure out my camera to make it look better in low light. So anyways, you guys, thank you so much for following this vlog along and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.